Hey YouTube, this is a New York Calf Ass Prepper, and uh, I'm out here. This is actually my reloading bench out in my garage, and uh, getting into reloading. But anyway, um, I was uh, intrigued by some of the uh, survival stoves out there, especially the homemade ones. Um, guys, you know, make all kinds of designs out of Coke cans and and concentric cans and all kinds of nonsense. So I was experimenting to see if I can come up with the the cheapest and easiest uh, little survival stove to make. And this is what I came up with. This is just a can. It's not, uh, I don't know what it's made out of. I think it's steel or aluminum. Um, but I, I want it with a, like, a, like a regular tin can rather than a, a beer or a soda can because it's, uh, it's, I think it's a little bit sturdier because you're putting some weight on top of it. Coke cans and soda cans are designed to hold the liquid inside, and they're they're made to be very thin and use the least amount of aluminum. There's a whole bunch of patents on soda cans, and they weren't really meant to uh, to hold up weight on top, especially after they've been cut in half. So this was actually a can of um, Vienna sausage uh, that I had. I was experimenting with different heights and sizes and everything, and uh, you need to have it uh, low. If it's up a full-size can of Vienna sausage, uh, you don't get the good flame distribution like I have with this low one. And then all I did was I cut it with a pair of uh, tin snips, but you can cut it with a hacksaw or or however you want to cut it. You could probably do it with a knife. It's very soft metal. And then I used one of these. This is just a hole punch to punch these holes. Now, I mean, you can do this neater, but this is just a prototype, and I just punched them around in no particular... Um, no particular um, spacing or whatever, but you could put a you know a ruler on there and and even them out and get them all the right uh, distance. And you can cut the can. This can is kind of cut, kind of you know hastily, but you can cut the can so it's perfectly flush. And uh, all I did was I put uh, three cotton balls in there, and the fuel that I'm using is uh, this shit that I got from Home Depot, clean strip denatured alcohol, and it's in a green can. I don't know why. It's some kind of green marketing scam. I think it's the same. It says natural biodegradable content. But all you gotta do is put a little bit in here. You don't need a lot because you're not gonna be, uh, I was thinking about this, you're not gonna be, you know, sauteing shrimp out there with your survival stove. You're not gonna have a full set of pots and pans and and be uh, sauteing, you know, reducing mushrooms and making sauces and everything. Basically, what you can do is you're going to be taking your canteen, your cup, or sometimes there's a little there's a little bit bigger one that they uh, sell in the camping stores, and you're going to be boiling water in it for to either put that mountain house uh, dehydrated food in there, or um, hot chocolate, or making coffee, or just sterilizing the water so you can drink it. And it'll also work with something like this. I picked this up at Home Depot. This is just a water bottle, but it splits in half. That stainless part comes off, and uh, that can go on top of the stove, and you can boil water in there. And uh, if you do this at home, you got to be careful. You can see it's evidenced by the burn marks on my towel here. Uh, you can start a little fire if uh, you're not careful. But I'm experimenting here, and since I'm a retired firefighter, I'm well equipped to deal with... Uh, any fires that I start here. So anyway, you put your three, three cotton balls. It'll work with less, uh, but three seems to fill it up pretty good. And then you just uh, you light it. You give it a couple of seconds to prime, which basically means you got to get the flame uh, nice and hot. And then uh, you put your uh, your cup on there. And the um, let's turn the light off so you can get a shot of the. The flames come out the little holes just like the burner on your stove. And uh, alcohol stoves are nothing new. They've been around for a long time. Uh, all your little sailboats and stuff got them. Because you can get this stuff all over the world. Any hardware store sells this stuff. And it actually it says right on there, clean burning fuel. Um, they, but that used to be like a scam. They used to put the same stuff in a can and call it fuel, stove fuel or something, and they would charge you three times the money. But now, uh, you know, everybody knows DNH and alcohol will work in these kind of stoves. So anyway, you, you get it going, and then you got a nice little flame. It'll boil water in uh, less than 10 minutes. 
and it cost me almost nothing. I mean, the fuel was seven bucks to get this big thing of fuel, but in your bug out bag, you don't need this whole big can of fuel. I recommend you, you just fill up like a little uh, travel size shampoo bottle full of fuel, which is enough to get you through 72 hours, depending on how many uh, cups of coffee you want to drink. And uh, you could even make this out in the field. Get a can out of the garbage and uh, punch some holes in it. Use your little uh, can opener to punch a bunch of holes around there. And uh, take a couple cotton balls out of your uh, little tinder box and uh, put the fuel in and you got a stove. Um, but even if I just took this, this stove here, and put it in my uh, my bug out bag, it really doesn't take up no real weight or uh, space considerations because I can put other stuff in there. You know, other small objects can be put inside there. Um, and it, it weighs hardly anything at all. So uh, that's it. That's my take on the... Uh, uh, and you could upsize this or downsize this. You can go with like a wider tuna fish can if you want to, you know, uh, be able to get more fuel and, and a hotter flame in there. Uh, but I found that this little Vienna sausage can is uh, sufficient to do what I needed to do. Is just boil one of these. This is off, a, you know, the kidney shaped thing off a uh, military canteen, or boil something like that to put uh, coffee in it, or um, or uh, some kind of mountain house or something. So. Uh, that's it. There you have it. If you're going to be doing more elaborate cooking, then you're just going to, you know, get a hold of some some uh, wood, uh, wood and build a regular fire. But um, this is pretty efficient. This is quick and easy. So that's it. That's my take on the the little uh, alcohol survival stove. I'm out. Success. Just about to break into a boil. And it took seven minutes, almost eight minutes. I'm going to turn this light off, get a shot of the flame. <laughs>